Kung Fu at the Signature Theater off-Broadway stars Cole Horibe as the young Bruce Lee, who was born in the United States but raised mostly in Hong Kong. Lee was 18 and already an experienced actor, dancer, and master of Chinese martial arts when he returned to the U.S. to attend college. The play is set in a drab studio in Seattle, Washington, like the one where Lee taught dance and kung fu while still a student. Playwright David Henry Huang says he first tried to write the play as a musical, but decided it was better to use dance rather than song interludes. Uh, it's got 17 dance numbers, a lot of fighting, and this is something that really I don't think has been done before, at least in America, which is to create a, uh, what I'm calling a dancical, um, a show which is a combination of uh, drama and dance. Like Huang's other plays, Kung Fu is concerned with questions of Asian American identity and the prejudice that relegates Asian male actors to roles as sidekicks. Every time I see a bowing, scraping China man with a long pigtail, I want to smash the TV. I agree. The way Oriental people are portrayed by Hollywood, villains, enemy soldiers, comic relief, it makes me sick. In my project, you would play a completely different kind of character, the hero. Well, he works with the hero, <laughs> and he's a hero too. Look, would you at least consider coming in? Bruce Lee, as talented and as amazing as he was, uh, wasn't able to break the glass ceiling in American entertainment. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the second act of the play is about his struggles trying to get work as an actor in America. And at the end of the show, he finally realizes that it's not going to happen for him in America, and he decides to go back to Hong Kong, where he will eventually make the pictures that establish him as the star that we know today. Bruce Lee struggles also with his father, Hoi Chuen, a Cantonese opera star who despises Lee's work on American TV. You see that? Because you are jealous! What's new? But of everything I've achieved in America, I'm an international star! Your wife supports your family! The martial arts action movies that Bruce Lee filmed in Hong Kong in 1971 and 1972 made him a major movie star in Asia, just before the release of his first big Hollywood film, Enter the Dragon, in 1973. He died at the age of 32 of a brain edema. Carolyn Weaver, VA News, New York.